I'm Father James Kubicki, the U.S. Director of the Apostleship of Prayer, and I'd like to share with you some of the thoughts that I have on Pope Benedict's prayer intentions for April. The Holy Father's general intention for this month is for farmers and world hunger. Specifically, we're praying that our Lord may bless farmers with abundant harvests and sensitize the richer nations to respond to the ravages of hunger throughout the world. A few years ago, Bishop Blaise Supich of Rapid City asked me why the Holy Father never included farmers and ranchers in his monthly intentions. I suggested he write up an intention and we would submit it through our international office in Rome. And he did so. And the Holy Father accepted it. But he added his own concern to it. And so we're praying this month for all those who work the land and produce the food that we live on and we're praying for an end to world hunger. What a perfect time of year for such a prayer. It's spring, the time for planting seeds, and we're asking God to bless all those who work the land and produce the food so that there may be abundant harvests from which the people of the world can be fed. Weather always seems to be a problem. When Bishop Supich asked me that question a few years ago, his diocese was in the middle of a terrible drought. So, we want to pray for good weather, and we want to remember the farmers, especially of our own country, which has been so blessed with good land. Because of economic problems, many families are leaving agricultural work, and corporations are buying their lands. This raises a problem that impacts caring for the land, ecological concerns. As we pray for farmers, we ask God to help them, and us, to care for the land so that it will be able to produce food for a long time to come. The second part of this intention is what the Holy Father himself added out of a deep concern for what he calls the ravages of hunger throughout the world. Hunger's a terrible problem. It's estimated that 923 million people are hungry and almost 16,000 children a day die from hunger-related causes. That's five children every minute Hunger is also a complex problem. Some of the problem is caused by bad weather, which is made worse by poor farming methods that deplete the soil. In many parts of the world, the desert is advancing and taking away land that used to produce food. Other reasons for hunger include political ideologies, where government rulers will not allow outside help during the time of famine. And there's a problem of corruption in some nations, where food is withheld from those who most need it because the food is being used as a weapon or to make money. There is enough food to feed the hungry of the world, but the human factor prevents this from happening. In a message that he sent to a conference organized by the United Nations last year, Pope Benedict said the following, Today's difficulties show how modern technology by itself is not sufficient to provide for the lack of food. Neither are statistical calculations, nor in emergency situations, the sending of food supplies. All this certainly has a great impact, yet it must be completed and oriented to a political action that, inspired by the principles of the natural law which are written on the human heart, protect the dignity of the person. In other words, unless there is a conversion of hearts so that all people recognize the inherent dignity of every human person, there will not be the will to deal with the tragedy of world hunger. We have the means, but we don't have the will. And so let us pray now with a prayer from the votive mass for those who suffer from famine. All-powerful Father, God of goodness, you provide for all your creation. Give us an effective love for our brothers and sisters who suffer from lack of food. Help us do all we can to relieve their hunger that they may serve you with carefree hearts. We ask this in the name of Jesus, the Lord. Amen.